The Amalgamated Union of Food, Stuff and Cattle Dealers of Nigeria says it will embark on a nationwide strike over alleged illegal roadblocks and multiple taxation on its members. The national president of the union, Mr. Mohamed Taher, stated this and uh, recall that the union had in March gone on a strike following similar allegations, including extortion of her members and attacks on its members in some parts of the country. The union had earlier embarked on a six-day industrial action, which was suspended after the intervention of Governor Yahya Belo of Kogi. While joining us to discuss this is Ahmed Alarama. He is a general secretary of the Amalgamated Union of Foodstuff and Cattle Dealers of Nigeria. Thank you very much, Ahmed, for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Um, it's most times when stories like this come into our bulletins or makes the news, people really wonder uh, if this is what traders or people who supply food uh, to the different parts of the country have to deal with. Now, the most recent is the onion sellers who have said that they are not going to come to the South if they do not get some form of protection um, from, for the people who are supplying this and for the truck drivers. Um, paint a picture to Nigerians uh, um, as to what exactly uh, the plight of your people have been so far. Well, good evening. Uh, actually, as you have said, uh, Onions Association of Nigeria are embarked on strike just because of insecurity problems that are facing, affecting our members seriously on the road and the end users. That is the place that they use to upload their property. Actually, uh, our members, that is Onion Sailors Association of Nigeria now are on nationwide strike. The reason why they have gone on nationwide strike is that there is a lot of problem that are facing our members. Those Onion Sailors Association of Nigeria is an affiliate members to Amalgamated Union of Food Stock and Cutting Dealers of Nigeria. So there is insecurity. It happens that our people, that is our members, are carrying their goods in order to go and sell it in all parts of Nigeria. But it happens that there is no security. It happens that of recent, in Imo State, today is five days ago, our members carrying uh, onions, two trailers, were being attacked and have been despised to people, unknown people. They scattered all the trailers. They have packed all the onions without reason. These hip hop boys were the ones responsible for all doing that. How, do, how do you know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Ahmed. Let me come in there. How do you know that these are IPOP members? Did, were they arrested and were they, uh, were they pointed to as IPOP members and that these people were said to be responsible? Or this is uh, an insinuation you're making because you feel that that's what's happening in that area? Yes, precisely. It is. The reason why I say it's an IPOP members is that it happens in Imo states. Uh, this the same people are saying people should stay at home. That the same day, they said nobody should come out. It happens that our members are on their way moving. Those gang of boys come out and attack the trailers, pack all the goods, that is the onions that are inside that trailers. That is why I now said it's an evil members that used to pack all that goods. And it has been showing in the world in the media, this is that you will see those gang of boys, both boys and girls, women and boys, who have been responsible for packing all that onions. That is why I said it's an IPOP members that are responsible for packing. Okay. I, 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 I mean, you're, you're entitled to your opinion, but again, I'm going to probe. Could you have a call to you that maybe certain people have taken advantage of the sit at home to cause mayhem? Could it also occur to you that maybe there are people, because as, as, long, as far as I know, the reports that have come from these attacks, um, they have been termed as unknown gunmen. Now, until the police is able to unmask these unknown gunmen, um, don't you think that it would be responsible to 
um, tag IPOP members as the people who are attacking onion trucks. I'm wondering what, to what end would IPOP be attacking onion um, you know, trucks coming to Emo State? Yeah. That is why we were asking. That is why the problem now, as we have seen it, uh, is it because we are doing a normal businesses? That is why these people, are we, are we the responsible for all these cases that we are a normal business people, we are doing a legal business visa, we are doing a legal business, and there is no reason why when somebody carry his own goods, in as far as he's Nigerian, he's doing a legal business. I see no reason why that some kind of boys who have been attacked, his, all his motor, all his property, destroy it, even if, if it happens, that the person stay within there, they will kill him because it happens within the same day that our people, our members, they carry a cut. When they are passage, it happens that the same problem, they burn the motor, they burn the whole cow that are inside. So that is why we are now saying that hence there is no security. We have reported this issue in many occasions to the uh, agencies that are consigned but there is no action has been taken. Ever if you could remember, on 24 February 2021, we have embarked on nationwide strike. All of us, that is amalgamated union of food stock and cutting dealers of Nigeria, we report we have called for a nationwide strike. Even there is a leader that is His Excellency Yahya Bello, who's Mr. President sent him to come and intervene into the issue. He called us, discussed with us, plead with us that we should go and we should call up this strike and go for our normal businesses. We told him that we have uh, we have problems. He pleaded with us. We tell him that there is a condition, that condition until it fills before we go back to our normal businesses. He said we should mention the condition. We have our demands. These demands are, first of all, there is insecurity. If you carry your goods from wheresoever in this country, carry it to other parts of Nigeria, you have no security. Secondly, there is multiple taxation. If you load a trailer of a cow from Adamawa, wanted to reach Otako, or Cross River, or wheresoever in the South South, you hold a money up to 450,000 in the money that hoodlums and security agencies that will collect at your hand been paid unnecessarily. Hmm. Why we are doing a normal business and we ask all our members that they should pay a revenue. Wheresoever the area that you loaded your goods, you have to pay a revenue. Whether it is a local government, whether it is a state government, whether even if it is federal government. And then in a place of uploading, at the same time, you are going to pay for all that travel. So the reason why now all this one in the main road, some people, hoodlums, some gang of boys, you see them in the night, there are over 20 of them, all 30, with cutlasses, some with sticks. If, you, if they ask you to give them money, if you refuse to pay, they will beat you up, they will carry your goods so ever you carry to upload it as so, a ransom or you must pay before you pass so mr ahmed oh, I'm, i'm listening to everything that you've said and i'm going to let you continue to speak but all of this seems to me as a failure on the part of government these seem to be a lineup of uh, things that are happening to you and members of your association because government has failed to grant um our security um, because that is number one, the number one priority of every government. I'm talking about states and federal government. Um, security of mm -hmm. lives and property. And you fall in that category of lives and property. So if you are being more taxed many times, that's also a failure on the part of government because that has to be properly you know, looked into. The fact that your people are being attacked in the first instance because you have to come from, let's say, from Yola to Cross River, uh, and you have you you're being attacked at every point, or you're asked to pay monies because there's certain hoodlums where there should be. I mean, we have so many police checkpoints from state to state, sometimes from local government to local government. So this seems like a failure of government. And from what you have said to me tonight, the government has not necessarily told you what they will do to put an end to the, the insecurity that you are asking an end to. 
but the government has begged you to continue to send food to certain parts of the country. How do they intend for you to do that? Well, as I'm saying, as I told you, those securities that you are talking about, even them have wrote in the night. You will see many checkpoints of police and soldiers. Them too, they were collecting money from our men, but they were exhausting money. And talk less of blood, that odd looms. That is why I told you, if you are carrying your goods from Adamawa to rivers or cross rivers, at least you must fall a 450,000 naira before you reach a final destination. All this is an illegal money being collected from these oblongs. We are all Nigerian, my sister. We are law abiders. We are doing a normal business. It is not government that are giving us, it is not government that are giving us money to do this business. We, as a union, we are the one, like me, maybe I will sell my farm or I will sell my coat to come and buy all these things to go and sell in order to get a daily need, me and my family. But it happens that we, as if we are not in Nigeria. If you are going from one side of Nigeria to the other side, you will be extorted money, serious money. So that is why we are now crying. We have, re we have reached every agency, every security agency, every prosecutor that we are supposed to reach to meet and tell our, out our problem, but nothing has been done. So Even the time, as I told you, federal government sent his Excellency Ayabello, Governor of Kogi, said to come and intermediate. He pleaded with us, he begged us, he asked us that all our demand will be been paid. So what is the way forward? Because we want to know, I mean, withholding your food stuff, your cattle, everything that needs to go to different parts of the country means that the average Nigerian is going to suffer. We're not going to be able to get food enough to go around. Um, what is the way forward? And I'm going to ask again. This is going to hit harder on the average Nigerian. Well, how do you intend to get government's attention? Yes, you have complained, but this strike action might not necessarily hit the government as much as it will hit us. What do you envisage to do after now? Because you've tried everything else and nothing is working. Where do we go from here, in closing? Well, uh, as you asked, even we, we don't want to go on strike. It is condition that will lead us to go on strike because we are on Nigeria. And we know if we stopped moving all these goods up, everybody, even including me, will feel the pain. So it is all good. And we don't like it in that way. But as a law abiders Nigerian, doing a normal business, we have laid all our problem to the agencies that are supposed to be uh, informed. But nothing has been done. What action? What are we going to do? Huh? We have to leave our products. We have to leave. Being that it is our own personal money that we are doing these normal businesses. But we also yeah, have we reports have of, of, of those we products, don't, we don't you know, going resources. bad. So, I mean, you're also losing money. Have you thought about going to um, the different government agencies to protest? I mean, that is a legal way of getting government's attention. How about that option? Yes, we too we are going to lose a lot of it is we that we are going to suffer more than anybody because we are the ones that are farming these products and at the same time we are the ones that are doing the businesses. Therefore, if it happens that I will carry my goods, the one that I produce in the farm, carry it in a motor, pay for a rep pay for a, a, a driver, carry it with the driver, with my boy, if I carry it to go there. All the potent, I'm going to do it. Instead of being such, I have to prepare to stay in one place, leave my good with me, so that it is only one lose that I'm going to lose. Instead of me to lose my motto, to lose my boy, to lose my, the people that are sent, to lose my, at the to lose my capital. It's Therefore, quite... I have no option. But we're appealing to the government to look at into this problem. This problem, we are all Nigerian. This problem is affecting all Nigerians. Well, we have... Yeah. We have to go. It's quite unfortunate. Um, I feel the pain in your voice. Uh, uh, Alarma Ahmed is the um, director or the um, he's part of the Food Stuff and Cattle Dealers Association of Nigeria. Thank you very much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. You are welcome. Thank All you. All right.
Well, we will all thank you all for being part of the conversation. We apologize for the internet connection and the issues that we've had, but we, we've had a great time having you watch the show. We'll see you tomorrow on Plus Politics. I am Mariana Cole.